WordPress enables you to add paragraph and image blocks separately. However, you can also place both types of elements side by side thanks to the media and text block. It even includes several layouts that you can choose from. To use it, open the post or page you want to edit, click on the plus sign and type in media and text and select the first option. By default, this block will use a layout that places images or video files to the left and written content to the right. So first up, media. We could either upload a media file or pick one from our media library. Now with our image placed, let's move to the content side of the block. Notice that there are individual formatting menus for each part of the block. For instance, if I hover over the actual text, I'll see all the things I need to format my text. But if I click on the image, I'll see a different toolbar. Also, by default, WordPress places a paragraph element next to your media file. However, you can replace it with other text-based elements. I would simply press the paragraph icon and you can see here we have heading, list, quote, pre-formatted, pull quote, and verse. The ability to choose between multiple types of written elements makes the media and text block an incredibly versatile option. When working with this block, you can use two sets of configuration options. One is a formatting toolbar with custom options that I just showed you, and the second is a setting menu with more comprehensive styling adjustments. Let's go back to the formatting toolbar. First off with the image, as always, we can transform the columns, group, we could drag and move it. We could also change the alignment, change if we want the media to be on the right instead of the left. We could also insert a link, and of course we could replace the actual image with a video or another image. The more options, just like on every block, we could copy, duplicate, insert before, after, move to, add the reusable blocks, group, and of course, remove block. And then when it comes to the text, like I showed before, we can change it to something like a quote. We could drag it, we could move it, we could change the alignment, we could bold, italicize, insert a link. And then of course, we have inline code, inline image, keyboard input, strike through, subscript, superscript, text color. You get the idea. A lot of different text formatting options and the same options in the more section. But I did mention that there are more settings available. If we press that settings icon at the top right, you'll see them appear. So right now we're selected on the paragraph block. So we have options like typography, changing the font size, whether we want to use small, regular, large, or larger, or we want to insert a custom one right here to the right side. We also have color, which we can either do custom colors or choose from our palette. We could do drop caps. And of course we have our HTML anchor and additional CSS classes option. If I press on the image, I open up the entire media and text block over here on the right hand side. We could add colors like a gradient background. We could stack on mobile, crop image to fill the entire column, add some alt text, which is always a good idea, change our image size and actually our media width as well. Under advanced as usual, HTML anchor and additional CSS classes. And real quick, going back to stack on mobile, this will collapse the block when visitors view your site from a mobile device. I'll actually show you what that looks like. See, just like that, rather than keep it side by side, it actually put it on top and on bottom. If you didn't know, we're covering all the different WordPress blocks on this channel, so be sure to check those videos out. If you enjoyed this video though, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.